Now I know it's been a while, but I did promise you guys some follow-up videos about the GX660R from MSI. So this is my first series of follow-up videos, and I'm just going to show you guys the touch-sensitive buttons here at the top of the laptop and what a couple of my favorite ones do. I mean, first of all, there's the one that I hate, which is the wireless button, which because it's only a visual indicator, a, a light, whether it's on or off, I turn off my wireless on a fairly regular basis. We got one of those for Bluetooth. We got one of those for eco mode as well. So you can see that's going to change from eco mode to movie mode to gaming mode to presentation mode to office mode to turbo battery mode and off. So that's a pretty neat little thing. I actually don't know what this one does. What happens if I press that? Okay, well, I don't know what that one does yet. Uh, okay, this one. Don't remember what that does either. These are my favorites though. These are the ones I actually care about. So check this out. Okay, so our core speed is 931 megahertz. I'm gonna turn on Prime 95 and you're gonna see the core speed is going to jump up to uh, 1.862 gigahertz. Okay, now check this out, check this out. I'm gonna press the turbo button. Bam, turbo on. Okay, so first it went down and now it goes up 1.955 gigahertz. So it actually overclocked the bus speed, not the multiplier. So this is a one touch overclocking button that actually doesn't affect Intel speed step. It doesn't affect turbo boost. So here, watch this. If I take my Prime 95 and I stop it, and then I do, for example, a single threaded, small FFT, single thread. So if I stress a single core, you're going to see that my clock speed is going to be, bam, 2.652 gigahertz. Whereas if I turn turbo off, so I'm gonna press the turbo button again, and it's gonna go back down until speed step is enabled. And, wait, is that the same? No, that's not the same, that's less, excellent. So that was what I was trying to demonstrate. Now here's another cool feature. This is the OMG, the laptop is noisy button, listen. slowly ramps up but basically this is like a turbo cooling mode for the laptop that allows you to if you're if you know you're going to be doing something intensive you don't have uh like a laptop cooling pad available you want to make sure that everything's going to stay running nice and cool well that's one way that you can make sure that it is going to be running as cool as possible regardless of what you are doing with it if you're running a game if you're running uh, anything else doesn't really matter. So here we got Prime 95 on. I'm gonna open up my. I actually don't know if my copy of Real Temp is going to work on this CPU. So I guess we'll find out. And it does. So even running quad instances of Prime 95 on this quad core eight thread processor, we're not getting above 70 degrees, which is pretty darn respectable for a notebook that is overclocked. Cool beans. Thanks for checking out Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe and that would make me happy.